Hey guys, once again, this is your old pal, Leo Hightower, and I am back once again with another video game collection video. This time around, we are going to be doing my Nintendo 64 for games. I'll be showing off my N64, and uh, I'll also be uh, sh talking about and showing some of the games I have for N64. I'll even show off my controllers, which I've had for a long time. So, enough talk. Let's get started, shall we? Oh, but first things first. Before I begin, I want to show something real quick. One second. Okay, I'm back. I didn't get to show it off last time when I showed off my PS2 collection, but I'll show you my PS2 right now. Let me just grab that. We had two PS2s back then. Well, uh... Well, basically, yeah, we had P two PS2s back then. Uh, the regular PS2, which was the big honking one, uh, and uh, a PS2 Slim, and uh, I got another PS2 Slim, except this one was much better. Here is my... PS2 right here. You can see it. See right there? There's my PS2 right there. Memory card slots 1 and 2. Eject button right there. PS2 icon right there. USB using everything. Power button right over there. Show you the back of it. And of course the front of it. That's basically my PS2. My old PS2 died on me somehow when I was playing Dragon Quest VIII and I was in the middle of a very important dungeon. All of a sudden, the game just stopped playing on me and when I tried to load up another game, it wouldn't read the discs or anything. Any of my games, it just died on me. Which sucks greatly. I'll show off the controllers I'm currently using for PS2. My uh, GameStop PS2 controller. The X button is uh, uh, kind of uh, rubbed out on this one, but it works greatly. It's nice and compact. For some reason, and the uh, L and R buttons right here on the back, you can see them. L and R buttons right there. Let me just wrap that up. Okay. Uh, my Maximo uh, PS2 controller which I got at the dollar store a, two, a couple of years ago. Works fine and everything, but the D-pad can be a bit problematic. But the controller works out works all right. It also has a uh, turbo, turbo on it, just in case, if I feel like I need to play through a game with turbo and everything. And of course, here's a special treat right here. In this bag is the controller I got with my PS2, with my PS2 when I got it. That when I had to replace my old one, I haven't touched this one or used this one. I'm taking it out of the bag for the first time. Keep this one specially wrapped. Good little controller. I unfortunately lost my original PS2 controller because of uh, my niece's uh, stepfather, because uh, or former brother, former brother-in-law. He sold it. He sold my PS2 controller along with two PS2 games that uh, I had that my niece borrowed when uh, my dad gave her her PS2. And I'm going to show up my memory cards. Blue, memory card blue, number one, LHJ. On this one, it's just mainly most of my adventure games and whatnot. Some RPGs. Number two, yellow, which is basically a PS2 uh, Nico oh, memory card. This one has mostly RPGs on it, and uh, Dark Cloud 1 and 2, as well as a few other things on it. Uh, memory Card Black, number 3, has all my multiplayer games on it, ranging from fighting games like Dragon Ball Z Budokai, uh, 
Burnout Revenge and whatnot in Soul Calibur 3. Oh yeah, each one of the memory cards I have has Soul Calibur 3 data on it for all the custom characters I've created. Number 4 has all my Sonic games and whatnot on it. Also, uh, Star Ocean to the End of Time data. As well as a few other multiplayer games. This one, Memory Card Red, is mainly for any game data I've lost or anything, like how if like how I lost my Burnout Revenge data, or I had to restart over Sonic Riders again, because I had to restart Sonic Riders over again because the data got corrupted somehow, or when my Jack X Comet racing data got corrupted. I keep all the extra data I don't all the extra games and data I keep I don't play. Let me rephrase that. Any games that I played that I've lost data on, I keep on this memory card, mainly. And that's basically all my PS2 games and everything like that. I mean, well, that's basically my PS2 and my memory cards and my controllers and everything. Now what we're going to do is we're going to show off my uh, N64 games. So uh, why don't we get started with that right now. Here we go! Alrighty. Now we move on to the main event, which is basically my N64 and N64 games. So, let's get started, shall we? I'll show up my N64. One second. Here it is, my Nintendo 64, right here. There you go, that's my N64 right there. On this side right here should be able to see it. There's a little red uh, mark right here. I put right there to show off that, that that's mine and that uh, no one else can claim it. Also included in here is uh, the Mega Ram, which is which was necessary for playing games like Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask and everything. <sighs> right here's the original Jumper Pack which came with the N64 back then. And of course the uh, little uh, expansion pack uh, thingy which I needed to put uh, the expansion pack in. Here is my N64 controller right here. Let me just unwrap this. Which I've had since we first got the N64. See right there I put my initials on it, LH, with uh, fingernail polish. The analog stick is a little bit wobbly because I used to because I usually rotated it a lot for games like Mario Party and everything. Buttons to work and everything, start button, and everything, yada yada yada. Back slot for Rumble Pack and uh, Z button right there if you can see it. <clears throat> the controller still works fine, but uh, the only problem is sometimes the N64 won't recognize it. Use it sometimes, but I don't know why. A uh, little piece of it kind of broke off right there, if you can see it, right there where that little black part is. Still, uh, still the system works fine and everything. It works like a charm. Here is my limited edition GameStop N64 controller, which I got for Christmas in, I think, 98, when I first found out about GameStop. This controller still works nicely, but the only downside is the R button doesn't exactly work as work as well. It's mainly because the spring broke in it. When my brother and me kept playing it a lot, the spring broke in it, and the R button works still, but it's a little flimsy. But overall, the control stick and everything works like a charm. It's just the R button that's messy. Oh yeah, it also has turbo setting and uh, uh, pause button setting on it. If you can see that slow for the multiple start and turbo settings right here. And of course the back slot for the uh, Rumble Pack. And of course the C button. Next up is uh, my blue Yobo N64 controller which I got from Game Exchange a couple of months back. This controller is very nice and everything, but every once in a while the analog stick will act a little funny. This controller also has turbo setting and uh, clear setting for when you want to turn turbo off and of course the multiple slow start uh, feature right there. Sometimes the rumble pack will go in here in the back, sometimes it won't. It's stubborn to get it in there. 
The D-pad works great and everything, it gets the job done okay, but in my opinion I think Yobo controllers are pretty much whack. Plus my blue PS2 Yobo controller, the D-pad's left button went out on it, and I think that just sucks. Alrighty, I need to find the rumble pack, so I'll be right back. Let me show that off. Be right back. Basically the memory card, you can see it right there. I've had this since 19, uh, 1999, had it for a good while. Still use it every once in a while for some games. And uh, last but not least, the Rumble Pack. The little N symbol, N64 symbol is gone right here, but it still works and everything, including the little uh, N64 Rumble Pack information. Little uh, fingernail polish mark to show that this is mine. Yeah, back then. I usually marked anything that usually belonged to me with fingernail polish, so that way no one would get confused just did not think it's mine. And now, without further ado, I shall now show off the games. Ready? Now we're going to get down to the last part of this video where I show off all my N64 games. Note that none of these games are in alphabetical order, and I'll be showing off my brother's games too. And I'll name off the ones that I haven't played in a good while, or that I no longer have. Anyway, let's get started. I got my uh, N64 bag right here. First up is... Yoshi Story, which is very easy to play through and beat in my opinion. Unless, of course, you try and find all those pure hearts. Next up is Super Mario 64. And then Mario Golf. Mario Party 2, aka Mario's Costume Party. Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Kazooie. Do a barrel roll! Star Fox 64. <laughs> Diddy Kong Racing. One of my favorite racing games of all time, besides Mario Kart. Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards. Fun, cute, enjoyable game. Paper Mario. Mario and Bowser's greatest battle ever. In paper, book, story form. The DK Crew. Donkey Kong 64. The high Intense Speed Racing Game. F-Zero X 
considered one of the greatest, next up, considered one of the greatest Zelda games of all time, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And this is the gold cartridge version right here. Next up is the very first, Mario Party. Next up is the Nintendo Beat 'em Up, Super Smash Brothers. Next up is Pokemon Snap. Take photos of your of the Pokemon on the island. I love this game. Next up is Killer Instinct Gold. Next up is Shake 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 Mischief Maker. I cannot tell you how many times I've rented this game. Same could be said for F Zero. And next up is the sequel to Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. And this is the gold cartridge version with the uh, hologram cover. Okie dokie. Next up is Mario Tennis. And after that, Mario Party 3. Alrighty. And next up is my first N64 game, Mario Kart 64. How fun is that? Alrighty. Next up, I'm going to show off my brother's games. Just give me a second. Alrighty. First up is WCW vs. NWO World Tour. Next up is NFL Blitz 2000. Next up is WCW Backstage Assault. And next up is WCW Mayhem. Next up is one of the greatest WWF wrestling games on the N64. WWF No Mercy. Next up is my personal favorite game that me and my cousin like to play a lot. WCW NWO Revenge. Revenge is just too sweet, brother! And last but not least on our little N64 game games... <sighs> a rare gem, but is considered to be one of the worst fighting games of all time... War Gods! I don't know why in the world my brother got this game in the first place. Beats me! But those are basically all my N64 games. <laughs> basically. Now I'm going to name off the ones that me and my brother used to have.
Another thing I want to show you before I get to the conclusion of this video is something special. It is my Banjo-Kazooie promo tape that I got from Toys R Us back then in the late 90s. At first I didn't know what to think of this, but when I started watching the video I'm like, I gotta play Banjo-Kazooie. And sure enough, when that date came, it was my birthday around the late 90s, and I ended up getting Banjo-Kazooie. And, uh, the game? It turned out better than the promo tape. Way better than the promo tape. It was just fun. The only thing I, the only problem I had with it was just the voices. All the little ooh 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 and <laughs> voices. I couldn't stand it, so I'm like, yeah. Wish they could add actual voice acting to this game instead of all the ooh 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 sounds. Alright, that's better. It's hard to imagine, though, that the N64 has been around since 1996-1997, and it's been Nintendo's last cartridge to actually use the, uh, the, uh, ROM c cartridges to store game data and stuff like that, until they moved on to the disc format with the GameCube. It's just hard to imagine that the N64's been around for all this time. It's con It's got hundreds of fans from all around the world and everything, and hard to imagine I got it as a birthday gift back then in the early, late 90s, 1996, 1997. It was just fun. Fun to play with and everything, whether it was playing Mario Kart 64, or playing one of the wrestling games with my cousins or brother on N64. It was just amazing. I've had multiple controllers for it, and I still play it to this day. If only I could find someone I actually play with, if on the N64, then I'd be a real happy guy, because everyone else has gone off, off doing something else. But overall, my favorite memory of the N64 was when I first played Mario Party 6 on the N64. When I first played Mario Party, it was just a blast. It was something different, something I'd never seen Mario do before. All the different mini games and boards you could play on it was just phenomenal. Or when I picked up Mario Kart 64 for the first time and I played it. That was fun. That was very, very much fun. I used to play multiplayer a lot back then with some old school friends of mine during elementary school, and I had fun every time they came over whenever they played with me. I wonder what they're up to nowadays. I haven't seen them in such a long time. <laughs> but overall, this concludes the video right here. That was my N64 collection, and in a way, this was my special happy anniversary video to the N64. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And uh, this is Leo Hightower, and I will see you guys next time. And if you're familiar with the N64 slogan, don't forget.